ओम शांति ट्वेंटी एथ नवम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वेनसडे मिसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन इफ यू वैल्यू शिव बाबा कंटिन्यू टू फॉलो हिस् श्रीमत टू फॉलो श्रीमत मीन्स टू वैल्यू द फादर स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन इफ यू वैल्यू शिव बाबा continue to follow his shrimat to follow shrimat means to value the father to love the father to value the father or to respect the father means to follow his shrimat that is the real love that is the real respect and that is the real giving value somebody if somebody says that i love the father too much but then there is carelessness in following what he says what he wants what is his opinion what are his divine dictates what are his divine commandments then probably that's just a showy love that's not the true love So Baba says, if you really value Shiva, Baba, if you really love him, if you really respect him, if you really have regard for him, then continue to follow his Shri Mat. So following Shri Mat needs few things. First, desire to know what is Shri Mat. What is Shri Mat? there should be intense yearning intense longing within the heart to understand what does god want what are his opinion what are his dictates what he says till now we had been hearing the dictates of the human beings scriptures traditions rituals customs the materialistic world the atheist people and we got confused now try to understand try to know try to understand so first of all is the desire to know what is shrimat and then search search different shrimat for different things baba has said for everything for every action for every karma for everything that you do in your brahmin life i have given you dictates and you must try to know them what is what is the shrimat for amritvela what is the shrimat for post amritvela period what is the shrimat for murli what is the shrimat for food preparing food eating food what is the shrimat for traffic control what is the shrimat for relationships what is the shrimat for the evening yoga what is the shrimat for the brahmin family what is the shrimat for the different relationships one has got in the brahmin family what is the shrimat for service what is the shrimat for yoga what is the shrimat for gyan what is the shrimat for going off to sleep so baba has given shrimat for almost each and everything the shrimat is very wide shrimat is very vast it is scattered in all the avyakta murli is over the period of about 40 years 50 years so shrimat is not just one day game it's not uh, easy thing to understand it takes a lot of commitment and lot of you have to give lot of time in order to understand shrimat because which shrimat should be applied in which condition that's very important there might be 100 rules given and just running them uh, committing them to memory may not be of much use which shrimat would suppose this is the a uh, condition a circumstance a situation out of these 100 which shrima should be used and applied here person might get confused even if he reads wrong shrimat because in shrimat also there are many times contradictory things because these murlis were recited or narrated written or re- related by baba 
to different groups at different time place and person so they relate to time place and person that's why we might we see many times contradictory things so that's why it becomes all the more an uphill task a tough task that out of these all shrimat which shrimat should be applied in this situation at this point of time in this place and in my life probably what is shrimat for me may not be a shrimat for somebody else what is applicable to may not be applicable to him at that point of time so that's why one must try to search shrimat and for searching shrimat you have to read widely the hundreds of avyakta murlis which are scattered here and there so shrimat is in them hidden so that needs lot of commitment otherwise it's quite easy to say that Baba has not said anything about this, but he has said each and everything about each and everything. Only thing is that we have not reached it, we have not approached it, we have not searched it. So search the Shrimat, and if you don't find, ask somebody. Somebody is in very difficult situation, and we get confused, and sometimes. the confusion is increased by reading some murli because for example somebody is in a very depressed stage not wanting to talk not wanting to come in contact with anyone just locked up in one room and in total depression and he gets a murli where baba says you should not sing you should not dance you have to go beyond sound so probably his depression might increase so he will become all the more silent and his silent may be dangerous so which remedy should be applied where that's very important thing is it for me is it for this condition so for different time place and person shrimat varies because that this difference has to be taken into consideration so desire to know what is shrimat then start searching what is shrimat then understanding shrimat what is it what is the depth of it because shrimat is something mat means opinion shri means the highest the highest opinion may not be very easy to understand though the words may look simple but behind those but behind those simple words a deep esoteric mysterious meaning might be hidden so understanding shrimat takes a lot of time it needs three things silence solitude and introversion unless and until one goes in silence and contemplates on one shrimat probably one may never understood understand it he needs lot of solitude a place baba often remind says go in some garden go in some solitary place go on the terrace and think churn reflect understand what is shrimat introversion lot of extroversion causes waste of time A lot of extroversion makes one stocky, verbose, and more often than not, Brahmins suffer from verbal diarrhea. They keep on talking and talking and talking and talking and talking, maybe explaining gyan, but to the extent that they become extrovert, and gyan says that you have to become introvert. So introversion, solitude, silence. without these three things one cannot understand exactly what shrimat is then for understanding shrimat you need to listen to how our seniors have understood shrimat because our understanding may not be so strong our understanding may not be that mature so there are people 
there are seniors who have understood Srimat probably in a better way. So in these cases, in such cases, try to know their opinion as well. Try to know their opinion as well. So, learning from seniors or asking seniors, knowing their opinion, what is Srimat? So that is also one of the things about Srimat. The next is study of Avyakta Murlis. Not just Avyakta but Sakar Murlis. We are all in the habit of studying every day's Murli. But there is a set of old Sakar Murlis. Actually, you should read every day one old Sakar Murli. That's also a good habit. Murli of last month. Because you have already read it. So that becomes a revision. So this is also a very good habit. To go back and read some Murli which is of the last month. Because that becomes a sort of revision. Because whatever we read, usually we forget in 24 hours if you don't revise. So revision is a very important thing. Revision is even more important than the first reading. So, the next stage about Srimad is reading. Vast reading. One should become a voracious reader. Read as much as possible. And reading is one of the best things. <coughs> Otherwise, mind drifts to a lower level. Otherwise, mind has tendency to go down. So, keep it elevated, to keep it on the higher platform, to keep it at a higher spiritual plane, to keep it at a higher level of purity. The habit of reading is of paramount importance to all the Brahmins. So, read as much as possible. Keep yourself engaged, keep oneself busy. The busier we are, the better it is. So, Baba is saying, value Srimat. And one more thing, when you read every day's Murli, just read it from that perspective as to understand what is Srimat from today's Murli. At least five. For example, let's take the example of today's Murli. Baba said, Maya is very strong. Maya turns your head. Maya makes you traitor. And there are some who become very firm traitors. And traitors are those who give something and then they take that back. And Baba cited the example of King Harishchandra. So, the first Srimad from today's Murli is never to become traitor. Then what is traitor? Traitor is somebody who deceives. Traitor is somebody who is not faithful to the master. Traitor is somebody who is not loyal. Am I traitor? If I steal something from this yakya, I am a traitor. If I deceive someone in this yakya, I am a traitor. If I do any disservice, I am a traitor. So, I don't have to become a traitor. So that is the first Srimad. And traitor otherwise also is not looked upon as a good human being. Everybody despises traitor. Everybody looks down upon a traitor. So, the first shrimas from today's Murli is don't become a traitor. Second, Baba said, Baba makes you so much elevated. So when you remember father, tears of love should come roll down your eyes. When you remember Father, tears of love should roll down your eyes. Such intense love, such passionate love, such intimate love for the one Father. Just as the love is seen amongst lovers, very passionate love. They are ready to 
die for each other or they are ready to give up their families for each other the parents who raised them up for 24 years they just give them up in one go for a newcomer who is a stranger few days back and now they are in love and they are ready to give up everything such intense passion some intense love baba says your love should be very much intense so much so that that tears of love should roll down your cheeks so that's the second shrimat third baba said at one point in murli in today's murli this is a very dirty world and you are not to live in this world anymore you should not now you don't want to live in this world this is a very very dirty filthy world the world is filled with too much dirt there is recently a study which has been done and i think yeah this is a study which is done in uk and this is the survey which was conducted by halifax general insurance services limited this survey is done in uk and the conclusion of the survey is 30 million britons they accept that they forget things what they forget purse bags keys necessary paper on account of hurry sometimes that occurs in buses taxis external places this study showed that 10 million british people forget handbags purses briefcases while number of people forgetting clothes or gym kits is 7.2 million the number of people forgetting their mobile phones or music players is around 7.1 million out of all this the people who lost their keys constituted the highest number as many as 12.5 million people have lost their keys so that is the study now what is the cause howard postner who is the chief executive of halifax says that people forget a lot of things in their offices and buses those who indulge too much now this is the conclusion of the study the study is conducted in uk and they found that people are forgetting many things keys handbags purses and what is the conclusion why they forget now listen very attentively those who indulge too much in sensual pleasures those who indulge too much in sensual pleasures lose their vigor their sensory tissues are weakened and they tend to forget about everything the number of forgotten forgetful britons revealed in the above study and the excessive prevalence of sexual sensual pleasures among the people they make it amply clear that the only remedy to forget overcome forgetfulness is the practice of self restraint which is one of the fundamental pillars of indian culture so this is the study they have conducted why people are forgetting things and they have arrived at the conclusion that they are forgetting because they are indulging in sensual pleasures the more one in- indulges in sensual pleasures the memory becomes weak the concentration power dwindles down the purity deteriorates and once purity is gone everything is gone no concentration no stability of mind there is a restlessness within flickering mind sensual mind titillating senses in today's sakar murli baba said temptations are many temptations are many this is the last verse so now come to the another shrimat last birth you have to remain pure but lust is very powerful and temptations are many but baba is telling us this is the last birth at least for one last birth practice perfect purity and in today's blessing baba said you are pure you are all five forms are very pure when you were in the soul world your purity was highest when you were in the golden age you were deity when you were in the copper age its people used to bow down in front of you and in the confluence age you are brahmins whose very birth right is purity so to become completely pure 
to have pure feelings, pure words, pure thoughts, pure dreams, pure vritti, drishti, to have purity in each and as every aspect of life. In our feelings, our emotions, in our awareness, in our imagination, in our body, in our wealth, in our mind, in our sanskars, in our relationships, in our behavior, in our demeanor. Every act, every thought, every feeling, everything should become absolutely, completely, perfectly pure. Such sacrosanct purity, such impeccable purity, such stainless, spotless, unadulterated, uncontaminated purity is Baba wants. So, so there is so much stress just on this one word, purity, purity, purity and purity. Baba wants us to become extremely pure. We should have hatred even for the slightest amount of impurity if, if that enters the heart. And all impurity enters with body consciousness. So stay away, stay off from this body consciousness. Hands up. Don't touch the body. This is dangerous. So... To value father means to value his Srimad. And his Srimad says to become completely pure. His Srimad says to love him above all, to shed the tears of love in his love. He says, don't become traitor. He says, this is a world, this is a very dirty world. And feel as if you don't want to stay here. Also, in slogan Baba said, be the deity of goddess of tolerance. So, Srimad is scattered. You have to search it. If you take just one murli, so these are so many Srimad from today's murli. Read, reread, revise, re revise, understand, re understand, think, rethink, reflect, re reflect. So that the echo, so that that sound of murli, those sounds of Srimad should keep on reverberating echoing in the inner cham chamber and the inner recesses of the heart. So again, I'll read again. Sweet children, if you value Shiv Baba, continue to follow his Shri Mat. To follow Shri Mat means to value Father. And somebody says, I value Father, but I don't I don't know what is his Shri Mat. Probably he is not valuing the Father. In English they say, is, they say, he who loves God, he who keeps God at second place, gives him no place. God should be kept at the first place in life. He is a ball. So that's about today's essence. Am Shanti.